In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up your own template in FL Studio. We all have our unique way of doing things. Humans are creatures of habit, so we tend to do much of the same stuff over and over. For example, you might find yourself using many of the same samples and plugins. You probably always put an EQ on most of your mixer channels, right? Most of the time, you'll probably end up setting up the mixer almost exactly the same way. You probably always use the same colors, too. Every time you start a new project, you end up doing these things. If you think about it, then this is a huge waste of time, especially when you know you're going to be using the same effects, the same colors, many of the same samples, and so on. Why not just make a template where all this is already set up? That way, you only have to do it all once, and then next time, you can skip all the tedious stuff and get creative right away. You'll save a lot of time in the long run. So how do we go about making a template in FL Studio? Well, it's actually quite easy. Let's set up a simple template from scratch so that we have an example. If you go to your file and then click New from Template, you'll see there's already a few templates there to choose from. These are very basic templates that come with the program. Some of these can be useful, but we want to make our own template. So let's click on Empty Project so that we can start setting up a new template from scratch. Depending on what genre you produce, you'll want to set the tempo to whatever you prefer. You'll probably end up using a kick, some hats, loops, sweeps, and so on. So let's import some of that too. If you ever want to replace any of these samples, you can just drag and drop a new sample on top of the old one. You can set up the VSTs in the same way. Let's say you have a bank of sub-basses that you often use. You can then load your favorite VSTs for bass and have that bank already loaded when you open your template, for example. Now that we have some synths and samples loaded, let's move on to the mixer. Now we can do all the naming, coloring, routing, and so on. I know I'll be layering at least three leads, so I'll set up a submix for the leads. Same thing with the bass. Now it's time to load some effects. I know I'll be using a lot of EQ, delay, and so on.
If you want, you can set up a basic layout in the playlist too. You can set up your template exactly the way you want it. It can be minimal or quite advanced. It's all up to you. Now that we have our template set up, let's go ahead and save it. In order to save it so that it shows up as a template in the menu, we have to do the following. Go to File, Save As, and then browse to your FL Studio installation folder. Then go to Data, Projects, and then Templates. Here you'll see the default templates. Now you can place your template in one of these folders, or you can make your own folder and place your templates there. In that case, right-click and make a new folder like this. Let's call it My Templates. Click Save. In order for this to take effect, we need to restart FL Studio. Now go to File and select New from Template. As you can see, My Templates now appear in the menu. I hope this was helpful. If you'd like to support my work, you can head over to Patreon and make a donation there. And to those of you who have already done so, thank you so much for your support. It's very much appreciated. I'm still offering feedback on tracks, so if you want professional feedback on your track, then check out my gig on Fiverr. You can find the link in the description below. If you like this video, then go ahead and hit that like button. Feel free to share this video with anyone who you think might benefit from it. And as always, if there's any specific tutorial you'd like me to make, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.